Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Dr. Scott. Today we're going to be talking about getting uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Don't be complacent. Don't accept the same old incremental games, gains that don't lead anywhere. Uh, I talk to doctors all the time that are looking to make small improvements in their life. Don't accept that. Slow growth may feel comfortable in some ways, kind of like you know an old t-shirt can feel comfortable, but you're not gonna wear an old t-shirt to a party. Uh, and we wanna make special things happen here. That t-shirt is comfortable because the threads are worn out, just like your old tired methods for growth are worn out. You should be looking for your next launch opportunity. And the only way to do that is to get uncomfortable. Again, that discomfort is temporary. I talk a lot about launches, but what are they? You know, launches are when you jump from one level of success to a level two or three or even four levels higher. And it seems like quickly and it seems like easily. A launch requires faith in yourself. It can be extremely exhilarating, but it can also be a little bit scary. In order to launch, you must give up the security and the safety of those incremental gains, those small steps. The problem is these launches can't happen by themselves. You need to push yourself. You need to break from your comfort zone. You need to force yourself to face obstacles that you've never seen before. Playing it safe will never bring you the level of success you crave. Before any launch, you're going to feel uncomfortable. That's normal. You're not going to know every detail of every moment that's about to happen, and that's kind of scary. Completely normal. In fact, it's a really good sign. If you know every detail of the move you're about to make, then you're not taking chances. And you won't ever make that launch. That launch. Knowing every detail is incremental gains. Knowing what's to come gives you a little bit of success. Taking those risks and making that launch requires you to just launch. When you do launch, you must surrender a certain amount of control and simply ride it out. You can only really control three aspects of any launch. The first is to know your goal. Knowing where you're headed is a huge part of steering toward it, and I can't stress how important this is. Your goal doesn't have to be set in stone, but you must have a destination uh, before you take off. The second aspect you control is to continue your pursuit. Don't quit at the first sign of trouble. You're going to make mistakes. Not everything will go as you planned it. It's part of the process. Being afraid of mistakes, though, is being afraid of learning. And that leads to the last aspect that you can control during a launch. Learn from your mistakes. Invite failure and criticism. You need to welcome dissenting opinions. Looking at what you're doing from different perspectives is a great way to push yourself out of your comfort zone. After the launch, after you get where you're going, you will no longer have that initial fear and that, that anxiety. Pushing yourself becomes exhilarating. The discomfort will be worth it, and you're going to learn to thrive in it. That discomfort will actually become your new comfort. You'll start to get used to it. You'll start to look more for it. You'll be looking forward to the next launch where you can push yourself even further. But the first step is to get uncomfortable and take that step. And now it may not seem like you're going to get that way when you first do it, but when you meet your goals, when you're living in the success of that journey, and you realize how easy it actually was, you know, once you got started, you'll wonder why you never did before. And I talk about that a lot. When people launch is when you get to that next level, two levels, three levels, four levels higher than you are right now, it's actually easier up there. I think, you know, we talk about fear a lot on this show and, and people being a fear of, afraid of failure. And then some people that are afraid of success because they feel like they see people that are successful and they see that grind and maybe they're not willing to put that effort into it. But I'm here to tell you that it, when you make that launch, launch, that next level is actually easier than the level you're at. There's less struggle up there. Uh, there's less resistance up there. Uh, so get uncomfortable temporarily in order to make your launch. Get yourself up there two, three, four levels higher. Just go after it. Have a destination. The three things I talked about, have a destination. Um, continue your pursuit. Don't quit and learn from your mistakes. You know, we I talk all the time about rocket ships because my business is called Cairo Launch. And we talk about the fact that rocket launching to the moon is off track like 90% of the time. It fails its way to the moon. It gets off track, it corrects itself. It gets off track, it corrects itself. Learn from your mistakes. You, you will never know exactly how you're going to get there. You'll figure it out as you go. 
deal with that little bit of discomfort early on in the process. And once you get uh, to where you're going, again, everything seems easier. Everything gets more comfortable. You can't live or sustain in that discomfort level, uh, but you can certainly use it to your advantage to get there. So.